Pay no attention to the handsome and ageless entertainer hiding behind the couch. I am the mighty Aldous Valor. Tonight I want to complain about something that is um, especially annoying to me because of how much uh, these events just flood my subscription box with the same video over and over and over again. And these would be the two most underhanded practices that you see on, on YouTube. They would be flagging or false DMCAing. Somebody like me, who embodies a, a persona. It is, it's, it's, it's important to keep that, that persona alive for some people. Now, I don't really care who knows my real name or anything about me, really. I've, I've dock dropped myself on a number of occasions. But the reason why I prefer Aldous is because, God damn it, I deserve a famous person's name. And as such, that's how you will address me. There are other people who uh, keep their names hidden for, for uh, security reasons and, 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 and fear fear that they might be uh, accosted by co-workers or community members or their own family members, fear that they might lose their job. I think that this kind of fear should be unnecessary, especially in the atheism-theism debate, especially in this day and age. Unfortunately, that But the fact is that, at least when it comes to my channel, there's really no need to peek behind stage. There really isn't anything back here. It's just a wall. There's no, there's no like puppet master or anything like that. It's just. I like the name I've given myself better. It's the people that feel the need to have to peek behind the curtain. The, the nosy sons of bitches who just think that if they can get this person's real name, they might have an edge on them. It doesn't matter if you make a video revealing anyone's personal information without their permission. That video can be yanked by YouTube. And that's the way it should work. Nobody has permission to use my real name except for me. And that's only whenever I deem it fucking necessary. The other thing that pops up a lot more frequently is the false flagging, false DMCAing. Alright. I understand. I understand the mirroring system. And I understand that it works. But it's such a huge 
pain in the ass. And and people people that flag down a video because it, it, it embarrasses them or it des it destroys uh, their arguments or it makes them look foolish. You make YouTube not such a safe place to be. And to watch channel after channel after channel go down due to flagging and false DMCA. It's 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 astonishing to know that these people, these crazy people, are there. Working behind the scenes and doing what they can to uh, take out channels rather unethically. Now, what I have made a career out of here on YouTube, um, destroying channels. In a technical sense of the word, yeah. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's, a uh, uh, censorship, sure. In, 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 a, in a very technical sense of the word, yes, it counts as censorship. I suppose in a very technical sense of the word, it also counts as cyberbullying. But if I can take a person and defeat them to the point where they need, to, they are so embarrassed, or, or, or I took them down so many pegs that they had to close their channels. And there, there have been there have been channels that I didn't personally just. But it was my glowing hands which guided the, um, the YouTube asides. I, I do, after all, sit in the center of the, the spider web of drama. What I do, I do, in, I, I do all in good fun. It's entertaining to me. Probably not so entertaining to the people that I'm that I'm disposing of, but I have, I have never abused the policies that YouTube has that keeps YouTube a safe and fun environment. And I think that I speak for everybody when it's these assholes that should be censored. Wang, wang, wang.